Hello everybody. This week's Friday Functions video, which happens to be a day late, my apologies, is going to be tiny because you know why? Because you've got so much content this week from the SharePoint conference that I encourage you to go back and watch that. I bet you didn't watch the whole nine hours yet. I'll put a link to it below. Now I'm going to talk about a little tip that I figured out with currency formats that are coming from SharePoint Online. I do want to say that this is very much like how you do it in Power Apps. Only this function that you see here, which is the text function that Power Apps users are really used to using, it's not available in Flow. So since this function isn't available in Flow, there's a special process you need to do to take a, a number or a string and format it as currency. And fortunately, John Lau has put together a lovely video that walks through step by step how to format a number into currency that's coming from JSON. He uses one scope and just a few actions. So I'll put a link to that video below as well. But this is a little sneak peek trick, trick, I'm sorry, sneak peek trick, a little play on words there that's kind of hard to say, that I figured out remembering what I learned in Power Apps and leveraging it directly to pull a currency format from SharePoint. Now to clarify, I'm gonna go to SharePoint here. Let's start in SharePoint and I have a, a list. I'm working on a demo for the Teams airlift next week and I needed a list of expenses. Now what's important about these expenses is that they are literal calculations. So maybe the finance team calculated them or who knows how they got calculated, but there's a flow that updates this total. So there might have been three lines on this ticket and some tax and maybe we had to pay something. And so in some cases you'll get this three decimal at the end. And I wanted to retain that literal number from the calculation that came from finance. And so that's what's here. Now what I did notice though, that if I format that column as currency, flow doesn't pick up the currency format. It only picks up the number from SharePoint. Now I figured out that I could change the schema and change it to a string excuse that noise, Ex exchange it to a string. But in this case, I didn't want my numbers to be strings because I need them in order to total up what we have to pay back to the customer and kind of, I mean, to the, to the employee and can get that check cut. I can't, I can't calculate strings. And so I needed both the, the number from SharePoint and the string that looks like currency in order to um, finish my demo. So here's what I did. I took this and left it as, as number as opposed to form as, forming at it, formatting it as currency um, just because I actually do need the literal number in my demo. But I added a, a column um, called flow num, um, which I plan to hide from the main view. Now, of course, I could definitely still format the column amount as currency, it will not impact my flow at all because flow just always looks at the number no matter what the format is on SharePoint. But because I wanted that text format to be a string and I wanted to do that really quickly without having to add more steps to my flow, I did the text format that I learned in Power Apps and Excel right here in SharePoint. And so, um, and if you're curious, just kind of Bing uh, SharePoint calculated columns and you get a whole bunch of formats that you can use for calculating things on SharePoint. But what this does for me is now I have a string that includes the number format and I can use that in my flow. So if we peek at my flow and we look at the results of this particular query, you'll notice that I have an amount column that's just a number. Take note that even though SharePoint puts a comma in the number even, there's no comma here. It takes the number literally the way it is. Whether it's got two decimals or three, it doesn't put any commas, it doesn't put any number sim symbols. This is the out of the box number format on SharePoint, but that is also the exact same thing that you'll get 
um, if you format that, that column as currency on SharePoint. So you will still get um, that same exact number. It won't change at all. It's, it, it's more or less a float number without any commas or anything else. Now, um, the flow number column, however, notice it comes through as a string. And now I can use that as the string I will use for my adaptive card, right? Um, and so I won't have to do any number formatting in flow. I will use the amount column for calculating my total due. And then I will use the flow number column for um, my uh, line items showing it in currency format. So just thought I'd show you that it helped me um, and it might help you. So look at the videos below in the description and I hope this was helpful in some way as well. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend and I'll be talking to you at the next Friday Functions video.